must save her. My daughter. <laughs> How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Uh, so today is episode 40, which means this is going to be a one hour special because every 10 episodes you guys know we do a one hour special here. So that's awesome because we have a lot of stuff that we can do today. Uh, I would like to try to uncover the rest of the map. And also, um, one thing that I want to do is get to the Goron City, specifically, because I've been holding on to all of these uh, diamonds, sapphires, rubies, topaz, luminous stones, opals, and ambers, because I know that there's somebody in the Goron City that will buy the gems for a lot more than uh, anywhere else. But, to get to the Goron City, we're going to need uh, some fireproof elixirs. Actually, do I have ice weapons? I do, so maybe holding the ice weapon will help me not get bursting into fire. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure one of these stables... I think it was this stable will sell fireproof elixir. So let's go try and see if we can buy some of them. If we can't find the fireproof elixirs, then I, just, I guess we're just going to have to wing it. I do have the uh, the fr frost weapon, so that will help. And, um, you know, if I have to eat food while I'm burning and run all the way to Goron City, then I guess it is what it is. Once we get there, I know I can buy the Goron armor. Then, obviously, I won't need the elixir ever again. But that's another thing. I don't have a lot of money to be buying the full Goron armor and the full Rito armor and the Gerudo armor. Like, there's just a lot of armor I still have yet to buy, so I, I need thousands and thousands of rupees. Wow, this place is beautiful. I forgot how awesome it is outside of the uh, Korok leggy forest. So, let's check the stables down here. Oh man, and I can go for stamina wheels! I just forgot I have that extra stamina. Oh man, it feels good to have more stamina. And that's like barely any. All right, is it this lady? Hi. Good evening. Uh. <sighs> Past the second checkpoint, your body will catch fire. Normally, I wouldn't stop a stranger from heading to their doom, but I kind of like you. Uh. So I guess I have no choice but to sell you these fireproof elixirs. I should take at least three. All right, let's 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 just take three. You're, you're pricey, but I really do like these elixirs. All right, thank you. Oh, sledgehammer. I'm taking that because where we are going, I will need that to crush some rocks. A lot more than I'll need this leaf. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Um, oh, it's Cass. Hey, Cass. How's it going, Cass? Oh. Ah, oh, we meet again. How are you holding up? In case you were wondering about the song I perform at the stables, there are many theories about its origin. But according to my teacher, it was a song performed by the ancient hero to call to his horse companion. <laughs> if you ever feel like hearing it, feel free to drop by. Anyway, time to get back to it. Ah, oh. uh, he has a double axe over here as well. Got some barrels and whatnot. Actually, <laughs> I could use this. Pick up the wood. I'm gonna need the wood eventually when I'm building my house and, and whatnot. All right, so let's see. Let's look at the map. All right, I'm gonna head up the road to Goron City just like a good pilgrimage. All right, let's go. Where are you, Cookie? Cookie? Where are you when I need you? Also, where's Zubmore at? 
he might burn alive, but I guess we'll find out. Animals, let's go! Whoa, what is that? That's a Goron. We didn't get very far and we're already jumping off. He's so scared. <laughs> the road up the volcano is so hot. It's dangerous for non-Gorons to travel. Be sure to bring some fire protection. Yep. Oh, wait. He, he's a shopkeeper? Whoa. He sells ore, but they're really expensive, dude. No way. I'm not buying from you. You rip off, dude. <laughs> Go, go, go. Stop being such a baby, Cookie. Just a little rock. Alright, guys. Here we go. The Maw of Death Mountain. If we follow this road, it should lead us straight to Garon City. Eventually, we're going to start catching on fire, but we'll worry about that when it happens, right? Also, I'm pretty sure there's a guardian that will also attack us. Also not a problem. What I'm looking for is ore. Okay, there's the guardian. Let's go kick his butt. Hey, big boy. Wait, what? Oh, I don't want to use the Forest Dweller bow. Um, let's see. Ooh, the Master Sword is fully powered up when it's near a Guardian. First time using the Master Sword, guys? Alright, he broke my shield, so what? What are you gonna do? Wait, I don't have a bow? Why did it unequip my bow? You killed me! There, hold still, my goodness. This game is whack though. I just was using a bow. Unless it broke. It probably just broke. Who needs to do the sword trials? The master sword's already super strong when you're by the hardest enemies. Look at that. Pathetic. First kill with the Master Sword. Look at the glow. Oh my gosh. Ooh, two ores or er, cores. <laughs> oh man, and look at all the ancient springs and whatnot. Wolf Link actually took a shot to the face for me, which was actually super helpful. So here you go, Wolf Link. I'll give you some meat. Um. I don't mind killing any guys along the way because I do need to get more monster parts. Go ahead and eat that up, dude. Eat, eat that up. Oh, I guess he's not hungry. Uh, I do need to get more monster parts just so I can, like, upgrade armor and sell. I don't want to keep using the Master Sword only because it's actually a really nice club. Is that club even better than, like, a sledgehammer? Probably. But you know what? Sledgehammer is 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 also nice. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. Keep it going, keep it going. We got a long journey. We don't want to stop too much, but at the same time, if if I see something that's worth stopping for, we will stop. Like any ore that we come across. Ore is is always good. Look at all this ore. We got we got some bats to take care of. But that's all right. Can't find the other one. I'll take that. I'll take that. Give me the fire case wings. How are you gonna give me a flint from a glowing stone? Come on. Give me the luminous stone. Come on, Cookie. Keep up. Keep up. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Wrong way, Cookie. Don't, 
Wait, Cookie was unable to come? But she's right there! Or he. <laughs> I keep calling Cookie she. Sorry, Cookie, I know your boy. You're a beautiful boy, too. Alright, let's go. <laughs> A lot of uh, fire choo choo jelly. Double kill! Wait, come back, come back, come back, come back. Only reason I'm killing these guys is so that I can sell, sell the stuff a little bit later. I think we might actually also end up fighting a big boy at some point. Like a big boy. Oh, there's a bomb. No, 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 no. Okay. Ooh, this ore has a lot. Oh my goodness! That was a good one. Don't do it, Wolfie. <laughs> Sorry, Cookie. But, hey, don't stand close to the burning dude. Look at all the red chew jelly. So much. Oh. Look at this loot. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get rich on the way there. Come on, Wolf. You can't even kill one bat. Oh, guys, we're getting into the heat. We're getting into the heat of things, as they say, which I'm pretty sure means that if I just put some raw meat down, it'll actually cook. Let's, let's test the theory. Here's some gourmet meat. Okay, we're not we're not into the heat of things quite yet. I thought we were. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I could get an ancient screw from the dead guardian. That's okay. I'm gonna kill plenty of real guardians. They drop like 20 screws at once. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, we're probably maybe halfway there. Halfway to Goron City, guys. Let's keep up the good progress. What are those? Oh, come on. Get away from me. Iron shrooms. Very nice. Alright, from this point on, Cookie, I'm gonna go on foot. Heat level. Non-Gorons use extreme caution. Oh. Now we are definitely into the heat of things. If I use my frost blade, that doesn't stop me from catching on fire. I see. Okay. Uh, fireproof elixir. Ah, we're good. Apparently, my wooden uh, forest dweller sword is still going to burn up. That's really sad. Oh well, we can always get another one. No, my shield. It's a metal shield. Are you kidding me? Okay. There's another guardian. All right. Awesome. Let's go kill the guardian. Wolf Link. Uh, yeah, this one you might actually want to eat. Hold on. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Why can't I pick up? I guess you can't pick up multiple food. Okay. I didn't know that. You can only pick up multiple raw food. Wolf Link. Eat up. And also that's going to cook. Oh, yeah. That smells good, doesn't it, boy? Better eat up before they cook. He's like, I can't eat it when they're on fire. Alright, he got a little bit of health. Man, the shadow is moving fast. Dang, look at that, guys. We are going into Death Mountain. Just checking uh, if there's anything nearby. Let's 
Let's get to the high ground. Now, I only have about 15 minutes of fireproof elixirs. Ooh, they saw me. Ah! What you gonna do? What you gonna do about it? Wrong weapon. This is the one I was trying to use. Stop trying to run away! Oh man, he might fall off the mountain if we're not careful. He's still got one leg! Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Dang it! I wanted his loot! What a dummy. I don't want to jump all the way down there. Actually... I do. You thought you would escape? Fool! <laughs> you are not getting out of this alive. Oh shoot. Oh! Oh, he mad, he mad, he mad. What are you gonna do? Huh? Dang it, I keep like swimming. I'm also getting healed from the hot springs. Just getting healed here in the hot springs. Feels good, guys. Feels really good. Oh, yeah. Let's heal up. Gotta take a sip of my tea. Hmm. Ah. All right. Where were we? <laughs> where were we? I'm just looking to see if there's any ore uh, before we teleport back. Ah. Anyways. <laughs> Poor guardian man. Not only did he get killed, he got sent flying off like a thousand foot drop. That was pretty epic. Now I see why the travel medallion is so useful. Because if I didn't have that, I'd have to run all the way back up here. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I think there's some ore right here, though. Or no. Oh, fireproof lizard. He got away. That's all right. All right, back onto the road. Let's get back to uh, wherever we were going here, Goron City. Ooh. Looks like there's a Korok over here. Might as well. What am I shooting at? Oh, really? That's a far target. I don't even think I can shoot that far. Actually, I think you can. It's just really, really high. The wind is actually blowing it a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just a terrible shot. That was so close. That one for sure. Are you... Do I have a bow that can shoot farther? Maybe the mighty Lionel bow. Oh, 
Come on, baby. Are you... Do I have to be standing on this rock to, to get this shot? It's so close! Ugh. That one was over. That one was over for sure. Alright, that... That one was just off. Wasting all my arrows, but we will get this. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. That was crazy. I'm not even sure it was worth. Probably not, but whatever. No, my fireproof elixir. All right, we only got two more. We got two more bottles. Where, where, here we go. All right. Let's get out of here. Very carefully. Back to the road. All right, let's keep going, guys. I'm getting too sidetracked. I see, I see a really nice, rich ore over here. You cannot just pass by a rich ore, man. That is like... Ah, oh, look at that. All right, Cookie, come on. Okay, Cookie can't help us anymore. I'm pretty sure... Ooh, okay, Lizard Boy. Fire breather. Stop it. Mm, what if I hit him with the ice? Oh. <laughs> he just dies instantly. Okay. That's what I thought. I just had to I had to confirm. The the Lizzle boomerang is awesome, but pretty good on weapons. Got a chest here. We got ore. Just a random chest sitting in the middle of the road. With five shock arrows in it. Oh, come on. Give me that steak. Got some more ore up here. More ore over there. Oh my goodness, we are getting so rich. I gotta be careful though. We got four more minutes of fire elixir, then I got one more potion after this. Or one more elixir. Couple more fire boys. What's the, uh, what's this for? The circle. That's strange. Guess we just gotta walk it. Cookie won't come. Also, where did, uh, where did Zumwar go? He got, he got teleported out, didn't he? No? It doesn't say he can't come. Oh my gosh! Show yourself. I aimed at the rock. Okay, you know what? No, give me the balloon! Yes! Silly guys. 
Oh boy. I think we found the big boy. I think that's him. This might get a little bit spicy, guys. So get ready. But there's a lot of ore in here. And I intend to take it all. I really should be saving the sledgehammer for the big boy. But I'm not that worried about it. We should have plenty of durability. I'm taking the damage for a good cause. Ow. Flame Talus. I'm about to die, so real quick, um, we're just gonna pop one of these. I got way too much food anyways. Get wrecked. Matter of fact, why don't you cool off? Cool off, big boy. He's regenerating! Wait, where did my sledgehammer? It broke? Alright, Knight's Claymore it is. Easy. Like I said, I wasn't really worried about it. It's just, now I don't have a sledgehammer and that kind of makes me sad. But we do have this sword. And it seems to work just as good. <laughs> Dang, we got so many gems! We are getting so rich! That's one of the main reasons I wanted to just take the, the actual road, is because you just find so much ore. Oh, we actually gotta climb this. Let's just put our climbing gear on. At least the, the body. Come on, Link. Uh, we're so close. Oh, my flame guard is going down. Ten more seconds. We're getting pretty dang close, guys. Oh, yeah. Very close. We made it to the mining site, it looks like. Ah, uh, alright. Our last potion. Our last fireproof elixir. If I don't get there before this one, I'm just going to have to run it. Death Mountain Marker 3, Southern Mine. You know what's crazy, guys, too? Every single time... Oh, yes, another... We got the sledgehammer back. Every time there's a uh, Blood Moon, all the ore respawns. So you can just make this walk again. See all those fireproof lizards I should really be going for. Uh, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna go super sneaky. And this will allow us to get the lizards a lot easier. Because they'll stop running away from us. If we get ten of them, I think we can get the armor for free. Yeah. Look at that little cute Goron kiddo. Pellison. Hey there. Why is my older brother Grayson always complaining about stuff? I don't know. But why? Why, do you know? You're, you're a grown-up. You should always say the truth. Wow. So should kids always say the truth, too. Oh, old Goron dude fell asleep. Oh, hey, perfect. You showed up at just the right time. I'm on my way back from Goron City, but forgot to buy souvenirs. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely way cheaper than actually buying the armor, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to look for 10 lizards. I already found two, and then that will save me probably like 600 rupees or something. Come back! Oh, well, I got, I got, I got three already, and I haven't even been trying. Here's another one. 
And another one. In fact, if I just keep looking around here, I could probably find all ten. And then I won't even need elixirs anymore. Good work, boys. Any more lizards? Looking for some lizards. Fireproof lizards. Now I don't see any. I'm pretty sure they just spawn like randomly. Maybe not. Oh, there's one. Already got six. Alright. By the time I get there, I could probably just come back and get the armor. Alright, let's set our travel gate here so that way if I get 10, I can just quickly come back. I don't see any more. Alright, that's fine. Let's take this gust of wind up. I'm surprised my glider is not catching on fire if you think about it. It's made out of wood and cloth, you know? Must be fireproof. I don't see a chest up there, so... Not really sure it's worth it, but I do want to kill those guys. I'm more more interested in finding lizards, though. Ooh, I only have three minutes left. We're very close, guys. We're very close. Let's just go. I don't have any more heat resistance. I'm going to burn up if I don't make it. This way to Goron City. We're so close. Let's go. Any lizards along the way? Gotta take another sip of tea. Oh, oh, I see one. I see one. Is that two? It is. I think there's two here. Seven. Eight. Maybe I'll get ten before I even get there. I think that was eight. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Oh! 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 Okay. Oh, there's 910. There's 910. No, 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 no. You gotta walk. If you haven't run, even with the stealth set, they run away. Dang, I, I would have had 10 there too. Might as well let it, like, cook. Oh, it already is. Wow. Cooked instantly. Okay. Uh oh. Please, not another volcano eruption. We found Barudanya. I really like that one actually because it can deploy drones, which is really cool. Big hammer tail. Mad angry boy. Oh, I never realized the rock right there looks like a Goron. The one on the left there, did you guys catch that? Speaking of catching that, I need one more lizard, man. One more and I get the armor for free. Come on. Surely there's got to be one lizard around here. One stinking fireproof lizard. That's all I want. We got one minute of flame guard. We made it! Goron City, boys. Here it is. Now, 
where can I buy the head and uh, legs of the armor at least so I don't burn alive? Where did it go? My reckless brother hasn't come back yet. What in the world is he thinking? My brother, Gongoron. I'm really proud of him, but he said he was going to go dig up the secret of the hero, and then he just took off. Where did he go? Gorko Tunnel, southwest of Gorko Lake. Alright, I'll, I'll help him out, dude, but... I'm trying to not burn alive first, so let me... Let's see. Wait. I think one of these kids will sell me fireproof elixirs. Stay at the inn? I mean, I want to, but I'm gonna burn up. Here we go. Here's the armor shop. Hey, buddy. Alright, let's buy the legs. Yeah. Flame breaker boots. There we go. Now I'm fireproof. All oh. I needed was one piece. Might as well buy the helmet too, right? The guy gives me only the armor, right? It costs 600. 2,000? What? Why is this one so expensive? You're a ripoff, dude. You're a ripoff. Maybe the guy gives me the helmet, not the armor. I need one more lizard anyway, so we'll find out. Wait, am I still gonna burn with just the, the feet? Oh, the cobble crusher. It's even better than the sledgehammer. Oh, I found him. What? Where was he? The lizard, he came out of nowhere. So they do spawn in the city, all right. All we gotta do is keep looking. There should be a shrine around here, too, I mean. Who puts all this money in these pots? Hey! Drat, that blasted Rudania! What's wrong? Mm. With Rudania running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rudania stomping around up there, there on the mountain? They say a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then, this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we've used the cannon to chase off that fiend. But it always comes back. Just some old back pain. Wait, who are you? I'm a traveler. I see, so then you came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like you already, brother. Well, my name's Bluto. I'm the great Goron boss, who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or to make a silenced child cry, either way. Yes, it is none other than I, Bluto. <laughs> I was planning to drive off Rudania just like I always do, but then that blasted back pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. That blasted you, Nobo. When will he return? You know, Bo is a young Goron who helps me drive off Rudania. He went to grab some painkillers from my back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Yes, I will go find him. Slacker, I bet he's off somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see you, Nobo, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Oh. <laughs> Dang, dude. You should probably, like, rest or something. Don't, like, kill yourself. Uh, alright, so there's the, uh, the fairy, or the goddess. It's got a little crown. Um, let's go find the shrine. I'm guessing the shrine is right up here. Sometimes you pick up a rock, a fireproof lizard comes out. I'm just saying. Cobble Crusher. Alright, found the shrine. I do not remember this one at all. So, we'll see what it is. Shemosh Mosa Shrine. 
Shemosa, aka Goron City Shrine. Once we have this, now we can teleport to Goron City anytime we want. Also, I need to find the person who sells, or I mean, buys these gems. Because I'm loaded, and I want to make some money. 2,000 rupees for the helmet is insane. I hope that dude gives me the helmet for free with the 10 lizards. That would be amazing. Because I'm a little bit poor right now. Swinging flames. Ooh, this one sounds fun. I love these kind. Wait. I thought I could hear something. But, 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 but I want the barrel. Oh. Dang it! <laughs> I meant to set it, but I'm so used to pushing R1 to, to throw things. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh. Ooh. This is such a fun puzzle. Wait, is this a trap? A stone smasher? I mean, I like the cobble crusher, but that's a stone smasher. It's even better. Dang it! Yeah, I know. I know. I Come on. Get It looks Wait. Wait. I'm com I'm I was confused. I'm sorry. This one's got even more, like, hammer stuff on the top. Um... Nothing. Just burning leaves. Yeah. That's what I thought. But over here. Master Sword, don't fail me now. These guys are really strong. Oh, come on. He should be hitting. Master Sword is running low on energy. Uh oh, that's not good. Time to use the big boy weapon. I want the sword there. Oh, okay, this one's actually running low anyway. Stop. All right, that worked out quite fine. The ones that only shoot at you aren't that tough. It's the ones that have a weapon. They have so much health. Nice, Ruby. The Master Sword, uh, after you use it a bit, it will respawn. So, no worries there. I wonder what that wheel is for. I guess we'll find out. Anything over here? Okay, I guess we can go up. That's a cool shrine, man. I like shrines that have upstairs and downstairs. That's a, kind of a big shrine, too. Alright, so that's the final... Not even the final chamber. Wow. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, the ball got stuck. So, how do we unstuck it? Of course, right here. <laughs> Somebody had fun making this level. You can tell. This is a fun shrine. 
I knew the shrine was gonna be cool. And there's the small key. I think that pretty much completes the shrine. How did I not see this? There's a lot of chests in this shrine. Ten ice arrows, too. Dang. Alright, so now I can open this, right? Ah. Uh. Oh. oh. I see. So I think I have to do this and I have to shoot the rope. Like, both. Easy. GG's, GG's, GG's. Oh, look at his pose. He's like holding a ring, like levitating it. That's so cool. I'm actually gonna watch him give me the spirit orb on this one since this is one of the four major city shrines. How are we doing on time? We got like 15 minutes. Perfect. Let's try to get that last fireproof lizard and go get the armor. And I also want to find the uh, lady. There should be a lady that... Oh, one spirit orb. All right. Every spirit orb I get now, it's like, please, more stamina. Once I get, like, at least two wheels of stamina, then I'll go do the sword trials. I, I, I know I'm going to need a lot of stamina for the sword trials because I'm going to need the bullet time. You know what I mean? You don't mess around with Master Mode Sword Trials. You just don't mess around with it. Uh, let's see. The lady... Woo! Should be walking around here. I don't know where or what time she likes to walk around, but let's see. Ha! <laughs> just chilling right here. Alright, what time is it? Oh, it's middle of the night. No wonder she's not here. Alright, where's the inn? Am I standing on it? No, that's... There's a general shop. Oh, look, more fireproof elixirs, I'm guessing. Or no, Goron Spice. <gasps> the legendary cooking ingredient. Ah. I must buy all of them. Ah. Goron Spice is very useful. Oh. Same with cane sugar. Next time we do cooking with Lucian, guys, I'm going to uh, make some rare dishes. Alright, uh, let's go sleep. Yep, I do want to stay at the inn. Ooh. You must be so tired, buddy, running around at this hour. A regular bed is 20. If you want to throw in a Goron massage, that'll run you 80. A massage? From a Goron? Sounds like I would die. Ooh. New to the art of Goron massage, I take it. That's okay. First time for everything, as they say. A Goron-style massage is done on top of a hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze the tension out of it. Oh. But I'll tell you, it doesn't hurt one bit. Mostly. Honestly, I doze off sometimes. When it's all over, you'll sleep like a rock and you feel great when you wake up. You'll be all limber and full of energy. Alright, sure. <laughs> Sounds like you need to do the, uh, the massage to your boss. Oh. Alright, let's do it. Hey, there's the lady! I need to talk to her right there! She's sleeping. Hey, we got a customer! Got you covered, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was not a nice massage! That was a painful one. Hey, three hearts and an extra stamina wheel? Dang, that was actually worth. There she is. Savota. I'm Ramela, as you can see, I'm from the Gerudo region. I came for the jewels that are to be found in Goron City. These days, those magma bombs are causing trouble and preventing me from working. I'm not too happy about mm -hmm. it. What is it? Have you never seen a real Gerudo? 
Aren't you hot? Oh, well, I slathered fireproof elixir on my skin, so I'll be fine. If you want to buy a fireproof elixir, a little Goron brat is selling them. I suggest you buy one and use it. I'd pay anything to save myself from this wretched heat. Hey, do you want to buy... I need to apply this fireproof elixir and work as hard as I can. Ah, she's not walking around yet. Alright, let me let me sleep until noon. Regular bed. Till noon. I know I could just sleep at the fire right outside of this for free, but I want to support their business. You know what I mean? Maybe she walks around at noon. She's still waking up right now. Oh, come on. It's 12... Ah, uh, she won't do it unless she's walking around. Well, we can always come back. Let's look for a final lizard. In fact, now that we can teleport back here, let's go back to the uh, the place where he sells them, because there was fire. There was lizards everywhere around there, and I only need to find one more. I swear, if he gives me the leggings after I just bought them, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. I think he gives you the helmet or the armor. I'm, I'm hoping it's the helmet, because that's 2,000 rupees. That is insanely overpriced. Ooh, the only downside is I can't sneak up on him anymore. Alright, let's walk around until I see one, and then I'll switch to the soundproof. Easy! I already found one. All right, buddy. Uh. Wow, look at all them fireproof lizards. You actually managed to chase down 10 of those suckers? Well, a deal's a deal. Hand them over. I'll give you this heat-resistant armor. Ooh. Give me the helmet. All right, all right. I'll take the armor. That was still like 600 rupees. Huh? Something to matter, buddy? My helmet? Sorry, it ain't for lending. It's too expensive for that. You can buy your own at Goron City. Dang. Ah. You are worthless, man. You know that? Worthless. <sighs> well, we got the armor, so that's for free. That's pretty awesome. There's one. I see two up here, guys. See? You just gotta sneak up on them, and they're easy to catch. Easy peasy. They're underneath every single rock, too, apparently. I already caught, like, ten back, almost. Look at that. I already have six. Alright, um... There's another one. This is, like, the easiest quest ever. Seven. Two thousand rupees is a lot of rupees for a helmet. I think what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go look for the lady one more time. Did I already get? Oh, I have nine already. Doesn't one of these guys have a quest? No. I think one of them. Eventually, you can recruit him to go to your town or something. Uh. All right. All right. I really want to sell the gems, so I'm going to go back to the Goron City and see if that lady's walking around now. If she's not, then we move on, because I'm not going to wait around forever for her. Ugh, that's good tea. I think after this, guys, what I want to do is head to the Rito place and then the Gerudo place. Well, we might as well put on the armor since we got it. Flame Breaker Armor. Armor crafted by Gorons for Hylians curious enough to visit H Goron City. It's made from fire resistant rocks to protect the rarer. Actually, looks pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the, the way the helmet looks, but. Whoa, buddy, watch where you're going. Alright. I know we can sell to the lady when she's walking around town. I just have to find her walking around. I don't know where she walks. 
she's still in here. Gosh, dang it. When do you ever leave this spot? The daytime is sure scorching. Maybe she's only walking around at night? Like, I don't even... Alright, let's do a regular bed. Let's sleep until night. Maybe she doesn't walk around during the day. I could have sworn she walks around during the day. Because she was sleeping at night. She's sleeping again! Are you... Jewels. Alright, let's sleep until night. I'm just giving this guy all of my money. Apparently, you gotta come here at just the right time. Wait. Ooh, all the ore respawned. If I walked back the way I came back to the stables, I would get all the ore again. I wouldn't even mind doing that. I might do it off camera, though, because we are almost at time. Good morning. I, of course I slept well, bro. Right, now will you sell to me? Or buy from me? <sighs> do I have to buy a fireproof elixir from the kid? Is that what she really wants me to do? Hey, kid. Come back here. No, no. Come back. Hey, kid. Dang it. Protein palace. Hey, kid. Hey. Hey, kid. I want to buy from you. Hey. Buy something. All right. Fine. Thank you. Now, now if I go talk to her and give her this elixir, then will she buy my rupees? Here, I brought you one. I have one to give to you, you stupid. Oh, actually, you look really scary. What's her name? Ramella. Okay, Ramella. I'm gonna have to Google it. And we are done with Goron City. So now I'm gonna head all the way to Heeper Tower where it's freezing cold. We're going from extreme heat to extreme cold real quick. Reason I'm going over here is I think it's the closest tower I have to the Rito village, which is somewhere in the northwest. I don't know the exact location, because obviously I don't have the whole map uncovered. But it's somewhere up here. I know because the Divine Beast quest told me so. Plus, you can just see the giant flying bird. Okay, now I'm freezing. Uh, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's do that, that, that. Um, and let's equip the flame sword. Okay. Oh, there it is. You can literally see the Rito village. It's, it's right there. There's the, uh, there's that. Okay, cool. So, can I just, um, uh, can I just, like, do something like this? Haven't, haven't done one of these in a, in a few episodes, so hopefully I didn't just kick the bomb a little bit. Did I kick the bomb? I probably did. I'm push it back a little bit. Okay. This this is probably gonna backfire terribly because it's in the wrong position, but uh, we're gonna do something. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try to do something here. Gonna 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 do something like this. And we're off to the Rito Village. Uh oh. Loading. Actually, <laughs> kind of cheating, but it worked. Bye bye. And I got full stamina after I did that. Epic. Just freezing cold water. No big deal. I got a flame sword. 
keeps the water warm around me. Don't even think about it, wolf boy. I got my own wolf. The legendary wolf. Wolf versus wolf. Ooh, not even close. Yeah, you earned that meat. Look at that. He eats his enemies. That's savage. You ate your own kind. Anyways, <laughs> cannibal wolf link over here. All right, Cookie, I'll meet you at the stables. Don't worry about it. I'll meet you there. Ooh, got to go on top of this tower. A falcon bow. Perfect. That's what I wanted. All right. There's a shrine right there. We'll mark that, I guess. And a uh, bunch of wolf boys down there. Let's give them a surprise. <laughs> Another one? No. Should be a shrine right around the stables here too. I mean, there there always is a shrine by a stable. I don't don't see the one here. Maybe it's just the shrine at the village. Rito stable. Oh hey Cass, what's up? Just flying in. Ah, we meet again. I'm glad to see you in one piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village. I must admit, I'm feeling incredibly homesick. How are you homesick? You're literally, like, at your home, basically, right here. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. You had to leave your wife and children, Cass? Everywhere I see you, you're literally just playing music, doing nothing. But you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. Mm. My promise to, on second thought, now is not the time. But if I'm able to learn all of the ancient, ancient songs, I will tell you of my promise back in my hometown. Oh. But listen to me blathering on. I need to focus on my craft. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. No, no, no. I've, I've heard your ancient hero song like five oh. times. You have a terrible memory, Cass. Terrible memory. Oh man, what an episode, guys! We started in the blistering, and now it's not even uh, not even cold here anymore. I can just wear whatever I want now. Thank you guys for watching. Your support is incredible. I really do hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please drop a like. It really helps me out. And be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild content. Look at that, we got the Master Sword back, no problem. Boom! Give me that wood. Might as well take all the wood while it's here. They're not using it. Just a decoration for these guys. Woodcutter, axe, master sword. Fun fact. Did you guys know that you can cook wood and eat it in this game? If you're feeling desperate for health, it's possible. Might as well pick up all this loot before we end the episode. I'm thinking, guys, it might be time for Epona to get some action as well. Yeah, all right. I'll make you curry rice, man. There's so many side quests that we need to do. Next one-hour episode, I might be doing side quests. I don't know. I also need to actually do, like, Divine Beast. But what's the rush, you know? Like, once you do the Divine Beast, you pretty much beat the game. So, I kind of want to do the side quest first. That's probably the recipe for the curry right there. I'm not going to lie. Um, all right, let's read this actually real quick probably will upgrade or update one of my quests. Yep. Yep. Rudet. Yep. Forest mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One star. Oof. All right. This is Lucian Sword signing off until next time guys
Take it easy.